Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about winter fragrances. So these are fragrances that I not only like to or think of as winter, like to wear, sorry, or think of as winter fragrances, but I literally won't wear them any other time except for in the dead of winter when it's really cold out. Um, they're just too strong for any other time of year. One of these is pretty new to my collection, so I'm not sure if I will be able to wear it any time other than winter. Um, I just picked it up within the last few weeks, so yeah, maybe like the last month or so, and it's been pretty darn cold, and I've only worn it in the cold. Um, it's beautiful in the cold. I have a feeling it's gonna be too much for warmer weather, but we'll see. I'll start off with that one. Um, that fragrance that I'm talking about is this one here. This is Pascal Nambi, sorry. This is Pascal Morabito Sultan Noir, and I love this perfume. This is sweet and woody and ambery. That's really what it smells like, sweet woods and amber. It reminds me a lot of a woodier Ombre Nargile from Hermes, or a woodier Boucheron Ombre de Alexandre. It smells just like one of those fragrances, but just amp up the wood. It's really, really beautiful. I have a feeling I will only be able to wear this in the winter, so I wanted to go ahead and get that one out of the way because I'm not, this is the only one that I'm not 100% sure of, but I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that is Pascal Morabito Sultan Noir. Okay, this next one. This is one that every once in a while I will wear this in the fall. Sometimes as soon as it starts, as soon as the weather starts to cool down, I will start to crave this fragrance and so I'll wear it in the fall, but I really don't like to wear this one until it is proper winter because this is such a strong fragrance. This is uh, our Moff Club de Nuit Intense. This is the one that is for her. This is gorgeous. This is a pretty dead on clone. Not pretty, it is a dead on clone for Tom Ford Noir de Noir. And it's beautiful. It's a dark, syrupy, moody, jammy rose. That's the best description I can think of it or that I can think of for this one. It really is deep, dark, syrupy, gothic smelling black rose. It's amazing, I love it. It's sweet, it is very, very long lasting, but this requires very cold weather. If you try to wear this in any kind of heat, it will choke you. It is very intense, it's very strong, it's a very powerful fragrance, and but it's perfect for very cold winter. Really cold weather, tames it and makes it wearable. So yeah, I love this one. Um, and it's one that I will be pulling out now that it is really starting to get into winter and really starting to get cold. So it is Arm Off Club de Nuit Intense. And I'm not gonna talk about performance because I can tell you straight out, every single one of these fragrances performs incredibly well, if not being completely nuclear. Every single fragrance on this list is eight to ten hours if not more so just keep that in mind as we go forward the next one we're going to talk about is this this is gallagher fragrances rosé all day this is another one um i pulled this one out in the fall because i thought hey the weather's cooling down it's time for this one i love this fragrance i can't wait to wear it no this cannot there cannot be even the slightest bit of heat in the air or this will choke you it is nuclear, it's sweet, it's intense, really, really rich and decadent smelling. It's, it's like a rosy gourmand. It's like a rosy apple pie. Gosh, it's, it's so good. I've never really smelled anything else like this. It's definitely its own fragrance and it's amazing. It's funny because when I first tried this perfume years and years ago, and I'm thinking that my skin has just changed because when I tried this years and years ago, I couldn't wear it. I don't know, it's got a stainless steel note in the base and I think it went pretty metallic on me, but I tried it years later, and maybe like a year ago, and I, I fell in love with it. I went through the entire sample and I was like, oh my gosh, I need a full bottle of it. It's so good. So I'm sure my skin chemistry just changed and I don't get the stainless steel at all anymore. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love it now. So anyways, that is Gallagher Fragrances Rosé All Day. Next we've got this one. This one is a, is a surprise to me, or this one was a surprise to me. This is a fragrance from Yves Rocher. This was sent over to me in a smelly mail package 
and this is Queer, Queer de Nuit. This is like a, it's a really sweet, really perfumey vanilla, like really perfumey and really sweet vanilla. It's really beautiful. It's pretty unique. Um, one of the Riddle oils actually smells quite like this. They're different. The Riddle oil is smoother, maybe not quite as intense as this perfume. But this perfume is intense. It's so intense that if you try to wear it in cold weather, or I mean in warm weather at all, it can be headache inducing because it's so perfumey and it's so sweet. But it is amazing. It's beautiful. It's nuclear in cold weather. And I love it. It's such an amazing vanilla. Very, very underrated. I think they did repackage this, which makes me think that they that it's probably been reformulated which makes me sick because this is an amazing formulation it is a really good performer and I'm just hoping that they haven't watered it down because it's such a good fragrance just the way it is so anyways that is Queer Day Nuit from Yves Rocher this next one oh man is this a doozy this is a fragrance that was sent over to me by by a beautiful subscriber and friend this is a fragrance from Latafa and this is called called Ejwad. This is, oh man, this is an intensely fruity, not even fruity, yeah, it's like an intensely juicy, sweet floral that dries down to woods in the base. It's really, really sweet, really intense, really gorgeous. This thing cannot be worn in any other weather but the deepest, coldest, winter weather. It's too much. If there is any heat in the air at all, it's too much. It will choke you. It's so, so intense, but it's perfect for the winter time. So yeah, super excited. I made the mistake of wearing this. It was like, I think it ended up getting up into the 70s that day and it was just way too warm for this. Um, but I have since worn it in colder weather. Um, actually, I don't think I gave it a full wear test in colder weather. I think I just sprayed it on my arm once it got pretty darn cold. And yeah, it was way, way better. So it's beautiful. If you're looking for something super, super intense, nuclear, this is for you. So anyways, that is Latafa Ajwad. Next, we have Madonna Truth or Dare Naked. And this is a perfume. I love this, but I only love this in cold weather. This is one that I used to wear in the fall. I can't do it anymore. I don't know if my bottle has just deepened up. And it, it definitely has. My, my bottle has, it's gotten richer. It's gotten more intense. It's gotten sweeter. It used to not be this intense, but it's so intense now that I can't wear it. It, in any other weather but straight up winter cold weather. Um, it's really beautiful. This is considered an amber. It's like a nutty amber though. I think, I can't remember if it's actually got like a nutty note in it, something like almond. There's definitely a slightly powdery nuttiness to it. It's sweet, syrupy, and ambery. It's really, really beautiful. So anyways, that is Madonna Truth or Dare Naked. This next one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is the this is one of the best patchouli fragrances I have ever smelled. I need to get pick up a bottle of Gallagher Behold patchouli because it's another just perfect patchouli fragrance. This is patchouli from Reminiscence though, and for the price of this, I you just cannot beat it. In my opinion, this is one of the best patchoulis on the market. Not even just for the price, just in general. It's such an amazing, intense, chocolatey, earthy, rich, dense patchouli. It's sweet. It's kind of a uh, gourmand-leaning patchouli. It's just, it's amazing. Um, I picked up a full bottle of this because I did, I had a sample of this. I fell in love with it. My daughter really fell in love with it though. So because of that, um, I bought her a bottle of it. It's well, it's a bottle for both of us. We kind of share this one. For her, it reminds her of my mom, which is super comforting for her. So, um, yeah, but we both love this. However, you cannot wear that. Like, you could wear this all year round. Um, you would have to have, like, I don't know. You'd have to be way, way more of a woman than I am. I can't do it. 
I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that can that aren't as weak as me, but I cannot. This is, it's such an intense patchouli. I can get away with this one in the fall, um, but any kind of warm weather and it's just too much. It's, it's just too intense, but it is one of the best patchoulis on the market, hands down. And you can pick up a bottle of this, I think for less than like $30 on Fragrance Net. It's such an amazing buy. So anyways, that is patchouli reminiscence. Okay, next we have a sandalwood fragrance. This is Samsara from Guerlain. This is another one. I can't wear this at all until winter time, but then once winter comes, once the, once the temperature drops and it starts getting cold, this is all I want to wear. This is one of the best sandalwood fragrances besides Killian Sacred Wood, which in my opinion is one of the best sandalwood fragrances I've ever smelled. Sacred Wood is such a pure sandalwood fragrance. And this one's not necessarily pure sandalwood. This has got a lot more going on in it. This is sweeter, but it's warm, it's cozy, and it's just everything I want to bathe myself in once it starts getting cold. It's so comforting and gorgeous. Um, I've got a huge dent in my bottle because I was obsessed with this one winter. This is like all I wore. I wore, I had to have worn it at least twice or three times a week. It was just all I wanted to wear. But as soon as it starts to warm up, I put this away and I don't want to look at it again until the following winter. This isn't even a, I can pull it out in the fall. Um, it just doesn't work with even the slightest bit of warmth in the air. It, it makes you want to gag if you try to wear this. But as soon as it gets to be cold, spring and summer are far, far gone. Th that's when you want to pull this out. And then th this is just perfection. So anyways, that is Guerlain Samsara. Okay, this next one, this is another one. I do not touch this perfume until it is cold, cold winter time. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier, Gaultier 2, Gaultier Squared. I think it's Gaultier Squared, technically, because it's, a, it's like a squared, you know? It's like Gaultier to the second power, so Gaultier Squared. But anyways, this is a beautiful amber perfume. Um, Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with this. As soon as it starts to get cold out, this is beautiful. It's sweet. It's like three notes. It's nothing. But I've never smelled anything else like it except for, there's a Pascal Morabito fragrance. No, there's a Ted Lapidus fragrance on the market that is an absolute perfect clone for this. I forget what it's called. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Um, it's a really good, this is long discontinued and very hard to find, so the Ted Lapidus one, if you like this perfume, the Ted Lapidus one is a magical dupe for it, so, and it's really inexpensive, and I'm pretty sure it can be found on FragranceNet, but I love this. This is amber and vanilla and, like, one other note, and I've never smelled anything else like it except for the Ted Lapidus. It's magic. This is another one. I don't even want to look at this unless it's cold out because I cannot wear this any other time. It makes me want to vomit if I even try to wear it with any kind of warmth in the air. Um, but holy cow, as soon as it gets cold, it's magic. It's warm, it's syrupy, it's sweet, it's rich. It's cozy and comforting and everything I love in a perfume. So yeah, that is winter in a bottle for me. So that is Gautier Squared. Next, we've got a Carner Barcelona fragrance. And this is another perfume. I don't even think about this until it starts to get really cold. This is a fragrance called Ambar del Sur from Carner Barcelona. Oh, this is a really beautiful, sweet, kind of traditional smelling amber. It's got maybe the slightest bit of a mustiness to it, kind of like a lot of ambers do, but this one is really, really sweet. It must have a bunch of vanilla in it. It's sweet and resinous. I think it's got labdanum in it, benzoin. It's just a gorgeous, cozy, sweet, rich, thick, decadent amber. And it is definitely a wintertime amber. This is one that, again, I don't even look at this when it is at all warm out because I can't wear it in the heat at all. It's definitely meant for winter and it really doesn't even perform well. I've tried wearing this in, in the fall um, when it's in like the, you know, 50s, kind of 60s region 
and it just doesn't wear well with any heat in the air. It doesn't last very long. It's um, It just doesn't perform the same at all. It's really meant for cold weather. So yeah, but as soon as it does get cold, it is perfect. This one is very, very unisex. It doesn't lean too masculine, too feminine. It's just like a perfect middle of the road kind of fragrance and I love it. It's an amazing winter scent. So that is Kerner Barcelona Ambar Del Sur. This next one, I know I've said this about every single one of them and I really truly mean it. Um, this is another fragrance. I don't even look at this. I don't even contemplate wearing this unless it's like below 40 degrees out. This is a fragrance from Moore and this is called Marshmallow. Um, it's kind of, this one's deceiving because you would think, oh, it's named Marshmallow. It's gonna smell like, you know, sweet marshmallows. No, this is a sweet syrupy rose. Um, this has also been reformulated. This is the original formulation, which you can tell because it's got that, the quilting on the back side of the bottle. Um, I pretty, I'm pretty sure the new formulation does not have this kind of quilted design on the back side of the bottle. This is an Australian brand, and I used to come across this brand a lot in TJ Maxx. You could find um, soaps and lotions and different things. You don't see it often anymore. They do, I believe, last I checked, they did have a US website, so you can get on and order their fragrances, and they still have Bath and Body products and different things, um, and you can order these on the US website. I found this original bottle on Mercari, though, so I'm guessing it came, maybe it was available in the US on the US website when it was still this formulation, or maybe somebody traveled to Australia and got it and brought it back, I'm not totally sure, but it's beautiful. It's really, really sweet, syrupy, slightly powdery. It's definitely like a powdery rose. It's It rides the line of smelling somewhat old fashioned. Yeah, definitely, but it's not fully old fashioned smelling. It doesn't smell like your grandmother's rose or anything like that. It's but it kind of does. It's just a really syrupy, powdery, sweet rose. I love it. I can only wear this at night in the winter time and to bed because it's, it's so, so intense. It's just such an intense perfume. You can even tell by the color of the liquid just like how intense it is. It's crazy, it's nuclear, but it's such a comfort and such a joy to wear on a cold winter night where you're just like chilling at home, you're watching Netflix or, you know, if you're me, you're editing videos or working in some way, <laughs> um, but you're at home and it's cold and you're cozy in your house. This is, it's such just a comforting, amazing fragrance. So anyways, that is Marshmallow from Moore. And last but not least, this is one that my beautiful friend sent over to me last winter and this is an amazing fragrance. This is a fragrance from Wheel and this is called Suki Essence or Parfums Wheel. And this one, I can wear this it doesn't have to be winter for me to wear this. I can wear this in the fall. I cannot wear it any other, it, like in the warm weather, I can't do it. But I adore this in the cold weather. It's just so beautiful in cold weather. It's one of those fragrances that's, ac it actually is really, really strong. If you try and wear it in the warmer weather, and I mean any kind of warm weather, even like 65 degrees is a little too warm for this, in my opinion. This one is spicy, slightly sweet, and woody. And it's just, it's beautiful. Um, my friend who sent it to me said that it reminds her of an Indian chai. I definitely see that. This one has oud in it though, so it does have this really beautiful woody base. And it just does better in the cold weather. And then I've got an oil from uh, Sugarworks called, it used to be Sugarworks Beauty Lab, I think it's just Sugarworks now, but it's called uh, Chai Creme Anglaise, and I love to layer this over the Chai Creme Anglaise um, oil, which is sweet, and it's got a really creamy base, so it brings just a little bit of creaminess to this, but it still brings a lot of spice and sweetness, and it's just an amazing combination. But on its own, this is definitely a winter fragrance for me, and I love it. It's cozy, it's spicy, 
it's warm. It's just everything you wanna wear in cold weather. So anyways, that is Parfum's Wheel Suki Essence. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are, those are a whole bunch of fragrances that I can only wear in the winter time. Let me know if you guys are interested in a part two. I definitely have enough <laughs> fragrances to make a part two. As I was going through all my perfumes, I was like, well, let me start with the most intense ones first, and then if you guys want a part two, I can definitely make a part two. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.